I think what made her different, what makes her stand out, is that she started writing about the effects of war on ordinary people before it was seen to be the job of journalism. I think the fact that she was a woman was in a sense incidental, but of course, being a woman, that's what in a sense she was able to write about, but that's what she was encouraged to write about. But when she began in Spain writing these pieces about what war did to individual people, she was far ahead of her time. I, because I think it was still true by Vietnam that people were more writing about, about what happened in the war, about, about victories and defeats, than they were about the everyday lives of people in war zones. I think she was hugely influential on a whole generation of younger war reporters. And many of the good women reporters now very openly say that they were much impressed by her. Martha was a huge influence on people, I think, increasingly. I think that her insistence that the war wasn't just about weapons and war fronts, but about people, has made its way into all contemporary reporting, be it written by men or by women. Now, you could also say that that was the way war reporting was going anyway, and Martha was certainly not the only person to shape it. But I think her voice, and I think the reason why she has remained well known, and in fact, in a funny way, is better known now probably than she ever was, was because she stood for this, this trend, if you like, for this idea that when you write about war, you write about more than just warfare. So you could say that, yes, she was ahead of her time, Yes, she was in the vanguard of people writing about it. She was, she was part of an already changing world, but she certainly pushed it on.